Hi, my name is Vincent and today I want to take a look at the mean value theorem. So we have find a point C that satisfies the conclusion of the mean value theorem for f of x equals x natural log x on the closed interval from 1 to 2. So the conclusion of the mean value theorem states that at some point C, where C has to be between our two endpoints, so our answer should fall between 1 and 2, that at some point C the instantaneous rate of change which represents the slope of this tangent line here in purple, has to be equal to the average rate of change, which is the slope of our secant line here in orange. So to apply this theorem here, we need to find the average rate of change for our function f of x. So we're looking for the average rate of change. And remember, this theorem does apply to this problem because our function is continuous on this closed interval here and differentiable on the open interval between 1 and 2. So to find our average rate of change, we're going to apply our formula here, and we have f of 2 minus f of 1 over 2 minus 1. Remember, a and b are just our endpoints of our interval here. To find f of 2, we just plug into the function. So for the next line, we're going to have 2 times natural log 2 minus 1 times natural log 1 over 2 minus 1, which is just equal to 1 here. So for the next line, we could simplify this a bit. This 2, we're going to use the property of logs, and we're going to send it back in as an exponent. So this will be natural log of 2 to the second power minus natural log of 1 is 0 divided by 1. So the average rate of change of f of x on the closed interval from 1 to 2 is natural log 4. The next stage of this problem is we need to find the instantaneous rate of change, which we find by calculating the derivative. So we have the instantaneous rate of change. So for this part here, we have f of x equals x times natural log x. We're just going to calculate the first derivative. So to find this derivative, we need to use product rule. And we have the derivative of x is 1 times natural log x plus x times the derivative of natural log x is 1 over x. So we clean this up a bit. This is f prime of x equals natural log x plus 1. So then to find f prime of c, we just plug in c into our first derivative. And we'll have f prime of c equals natural log of c plus 1. But at this stage of the problem, now we need to set the average rate of change equal to the instantaneous rate of change and solve for c. So this is where the theorem comes in. So to apply the conclusion of the mean value theorem, now we set up the equation natural log 4 equals natural log c plus 1. Now there's a few ways we could solve for c, but one way of doing it would be to subtract natural log 4 from both sides and subtract 1 from both sides. So we could write minus natural log 4 here, and we could subtract 1 on both sides as well. We'll extend this out. So we're going to subtract 1 on the left side as well. Natural log 4 minus natural log 4 will cancel. 1 minus 1 cancels. And we'll have negative 1 equals natural log of c minus natural log of 4. From this stage here, we could use the subtraction property of logs and combine this into a single log by division. So this will tell us negative 1 equals natural log of c divided by 4. And then from this step here, we could use the definition of a log that we could rewrite it as an exponent. The base of the natural log is e. The exponent here would be negative 1. And this equals the inner, to uh, inner term c over 4. So then to solve for c, all we have to do is multiply both sides by 4. This will cancel. And c is equal to 4 times e to the negative 1. Or we could simply write this as 4 over e. So this is our final answer to the problem. Our c value is 4 over e. And if you needed to check, notice uh, e is equal to 2.718. And it just is an infinite string that goes on without a pattern. It's an irrational number. But if we divided by that quantity, it would throw us between 1 and 2. So this is extra confirmation that our answer is good here. OK, well, this is going to conclude this video on using the mean value theorem. Thank you all for watching, and I hope that this was helpful.